Okay. Show me. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dutch RC channel for a, uh, well, a presentation and a maiden flight for my new quadcopter. And um, you might be wondering, didn't you have enough quadcopters? Uh, yes, I did, but I recently crashed one. Um, if you follow my channel, uh, it was the wooden circle copter. Yeah, I crashed it one, so uh, the frame was uh, done for. And this, uh, well, I bought this uh, SK450 frame from Hobby King. And that is basically a, a symmetrical X shape quadcopter. And I added this dead cat center section to it. And that transforms it into a uh, spider like configuration. Um, let's see, what more can I tell you? Yeah, it, it's uh, running on uh, 1100 kV motors. I'm running it on 4S and these props are 7x4s, which is a bit on the small side. I should uh, uh, probably put 8x4s on it, but uh, I didn't have those in stock, so this will be just fine for a maiden flight. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see if it flies. I haven't tried it yet, so we connect up the battery. Let the board initialize itself. Okie dokie. As you can probably see, I have a Mega Pilot slash APM 2.7 board on it. And arm. There, it's now armed. Okay, uh, wish me luck. Let's see if it flies. And it does. Yeah, all directional controls work as they should. Oh, by the way, if you buy this frame from Hobby King, the SK450, it comes with four white legs. And I've made two of those legs uh, black with a magic marker, for orientation's sake. Um, it is a bit windy, by the way. But it flies very predictably, really. Uh, the LiPo I use is a 2200 4S, Turnigy Nanotech. It... Yeah, I'm sure I'll have to do some tweaking to the PID settings, but... It actually flies very predictably, reasonably smooth. This isn't bad at all. And it's very quiet, that's nice. Um, I don't have GPS uh, on this quadcopter. It's just a bash quadcopter to me, this. Yeah, it's very quiet. I had not expected that. These aren't high quality motors by any means. There is a slight wobble now and again, but that's probably the wind. Yeah, so far I'm pretty pleased.
flies just fine. Okay, let's try and bring it in for a landing and feel the lipo. All right, well, even the landing was pretty smooth. All right, disarm it. There we go. Yep, it's, it's disarmed. Oh, the lipo is just cold. Cool stuff. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, just a short second flight. Rearm it. There we go. Yeah, this should be a nice sport flyer. Um I will probably need to put something extra on the quad for coordination. It's easy to lose sight of the front slash back. Uh, this isn't uh, the standard conf uh, configuration of the APM quad copter uh, firmware. I've changed the maximum bank angles. I think uh, they are 45 uh, degrees uh, as standard. I've changed those to 60. Once again, this is intended to be a sports flyer, so I want to be able to bash it around. Oop, wind gush. Okay, cool. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching, of course. Hope it was entertaining or maybe informational. Um, I'll put a link to all the parts I've used on this quadcopter in the video description. Because, uh, mainly because it uh, seems to work out pretty well. And it's uh, not an expensive uh, configuration either, that's nice of course. And I'm now being thrown around by the wind a little. But uh, well, once again, thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, uh, please do. Helps me out. And hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.